Welcome, folks, and welcome to another edition of Premier League Digest. You know, the Premier League is almost upon us. August, like this, we are going to be starting again with the Premier League season for 2024-2025 season. And the banter will continue. It already started from the preseason where, you know, of course, Arsenal drew... Uh, uh, Mass City, you know, lost against Celtic. Even Chelsea drew against the uh, rest Ham. So, there are lots of, you know, bats already going on. But, of course, if you get to the that stage where we get to the, you know, we start to play in the Premier League. But, you know, ahead of the Premier League, clubs have been, you know, intro introducing or winning their new season jersey or this season jersey, as the case may be. And, um, you know, I picked up some, you know, top ones I love because, you know, I'm going to be wearing it with my Ankara. <laughs> so I look, I look at the ones that will fit my Akara, my Akara colors because everything will be color riot. So I picked them um, jerseys from, you know, from the top teams from the Premier League. Let's focus on the Premier League. We still have, you know, we still do maybe around the road because I love some from the, from Roma, from um, you know, Cagliari, even from Barcelona. But let's focus for this episode for the Premier League jerseys that you know, I love. I picked four. Let me start with the Manchester United one. Where you know the blue away kit, it looks very, very good. You know, it's called the, the, the embodying the spirit of their city. So we look at the yellow, it's really at the blue. It looks um, you know, not really a sky blue, deep blue, uh, with a lot of you know strikes, like um, you know, it's um, you know, thunder strikes and looks very decent. Um, you know, um Garnacho and Rashford models model that um Jesse and it looked fantastic. I think you know, maybe with the Jesse. They'll be having you know, a good season. <laughs> and of course, um, Man United have a new chest sponsor. And that looked very cool. Only that blue away kit from Manchester United is good. Moving ahead, um, let's talk about the new boys. You know, they relegated last season. And of course, they're back into the fold. Talking about Leicester City. You know, their away kit is, you know, has always been pink. You know, pure pink. But this time around, we're having a field of black and a sprinkle of pink look very good on you know with friend Didi who just signed a new deal with his with the side look very interesting you know when you put it you know in context of what i'm going to be wearing with talking about um you know my color print very good black with sprinkle of pink design you know like um like watercolor it looks very good um you know with with um with that feel Away from that, let's talk about Chelsea home kit. Chelsea home kit, when it first came out, even Chelsea fans were not really happy about the design. It wasn't, it wasn't looking interesting. It wasn't looking good. But when Eden Hazard model that jersey, it was out of this world. And when, you know, against Rexham in the US, when, you know, a lot of players came together and, of course, they were celebrating, the jersey looked very good. Blue with the lighting, you know, blue with all this lighting white and makes it very colorful. And it looks, you know, it looks not really good from the first look. But if you check it very well, look at it very well, you know, it looks very, very good. It, it almost looks like um, the color, the same color with um, Man United uh, away jersey. But of course, Chelsea, that distant blue was very good. But my best jersey this season, you know, that's not be doing it back to back. They're not winning the league. But they'll be winning the kit or the Jesse design table. And this time around, they've come again with what we entail or it entice, you know, the African world, the you know, infusion of cultural heritage, infusion of um, identity, infusion of recognizing the impact of Africans in the old you know Arsenal fraternity, talking about the likes of you know Kwan or you know, the likes of you know um, other guys from Africa, and this time around. With the infusion of Africa, and of course, you know, shot in Sri alone, this was good. Just look at the Jesse infusion of culture, you know, African culture. The you know the the imprint of you know um, a, a prince looks like a color feel from the sides, and the black was just it was model you know. But even you know our own uh, country legend, you know, Swagus legend, Kano Wako, looks good on Saka, looks good on Timba, and. This will be my best so far when it comes to Jesse Arsenal away kit. And if you put this on a black with small flower and color prints, it will be. So those are the four Jesses I've seen that I've loved. 
and I love to dissect as well. So you can drop your comment as well. Let me know the jersey that have caught your fancy. Let me know the, the jersey that you love so that you know, I can actually share in my next one. But in the next edi edition, I'll be talking about those other jerseys from other countries like the Inter, the AC Milan, and of course, you know, the other parts of Europe. So let me hear your thought as well. That is it, the uh, Premier League Digest steps. We are talking about Jesse this time around. Follow us across our similar platform, very straightforward on Twitter, at Puja Media, on YouTube, Puja Dissect. Thanks for watching. Like you guys know, my name is Sulaiman Adebao. For all fans, call me Puja. Like I say, the higher the higher, the expected the term. Yeah, ticket, be green. Bye for now.